Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to screen record on any Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus, S8 Ultra, or really any other Tab S8, it doesn't, or really any other Samsung Galaxy Tab, it really doesn't matter. Now it's a very basic process. The first thing you want to do is you want to get into your notification panel, just like by scrolling to the top right there, and then you want to go ahead and scroll down one more time to get into your little quick toggle section right here. Now at this point, all you have to do is you want to find right here your little screen recording toggle. Now you want to search through all these toggles. If you don't see the screen recording toggle here somewhere, you want to go ahead and click this plus button. And all you want to do here is you want to go ahead and find that quick recording toggle or the screen recording toggle up here, and you want to drag it down. That is really all you have to do. And once you have that quick toggle down here for the screen recording option, you can go and click done. You want to go ahead and find it. So for me personally, my option is right here. All I have to do is go and click on that screen recording toggle like this. I'll get into this little panel and here you can go and configure this however which way you want to. So you can see I have the option of choosing no sound, media sounds, or media sounds and mic. So you can choose whichever way you want to go ahead and record this with. Typically I just choose media sounds, but you can choose media sounds with mic. And whenever you're ready, you can click start recording. It'll count down from three and that's really all you have to do. You can see at the top right corner, there's just this little like edit panel, but it's not going to be shown in the video. So you can go ahead and record whichever way you want to, whatever you're trying to record. Once you're done, you can go and click the stop button or the pause button. But in this case, we'll just click the stop button right there and I accidentally click the pause button. And once it's stopped, it'll tell you that the recording has been saved. And now all you have to do is make your way over to your gallery application and you should see the video that we just made. So here's that video. You can see that it's going through and it's basically the video that we just made. And that's really all you have to do. You can go and share this video out to whoever you want to. You can really do whatever you want to now. The video is all yours. And that is pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.